Excuse me. Waitress. Dude. Hi, what can I get you? We need some. Is that annoying? Is that obnoxious and rude? Would you find it distracting if someone did that to you while you were working? Oh, you don't have a job, sorry. <laughs> Damn, dude, she burned you. Oh. No. Hipster. No. Do not think we're on the same team. We have nothing in common. I wear knit hats when it's cold out. You wear knit hats because of cold play. <laughs> you have tattoos to piss off your dad. My dad doesn't know he's my dad. And finally, you think this is the sound that gets you service. I think... This is the sound that dries up my vagina. The other waitress disappeared. The Russian one? We need horseradish. Please. That, ladies, is how you treat a waitress. <laughs> Hi, ready to order? Do you have anything that's really special? Not according to my high school guidance counselor. <laughs> I'll have the veggie plate, but instead of beets, I want kale, and instead of broccoli, more kale. I want the veggies steamed, and instead of dressing, I want lemons. Don't you need to write this down? I'm afraid if I start writing that down, it'll turn into a suicide note. I'm assuming this table's gonna have a lot more of those requests. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could tell by the hats. A woman in my section wants to know if we do anything gluten-free. What do I tell her? Tell her she's not allergic to gluten. She's just masking an eating disorder. Hi. It's been 20 minutes. Have you decided? Uh, we still need more time. Can you come back? Sure. And I'm back. Come on, guys. You're not buying a house. Everything sucks. Pick the thing that sucks the least and put it in your mouth. Max, everyone keeps telling me they can't decide. It's like a support group for bisexuals. Max, I can take a lot. Please keep your sex life to yourself. I handled it when I lost my fortune, and I handled it when I lost my fortune. You said that twice. Because I think it bears repeating. But this is too much. That couple that just left, a $50 check, a $1.47 tip. 47 cents? Uh, I wasn't even aware they were still making pennies. I smiled and bent over backwards, giving them service, all for a dollar and 47 cents? This makes me the lowest paid hooker in New York. All right, give me that check. I'll handle this. Hey, was something wrong with the service my girl over here gave you? No, tipping's an option. So is me spitting in your food. You might want to remember that the next time you leave a waitress pennies. I'm sorry. I didn't know. This is our first and last date. Sorry, dude. Looks like this little tip just lost you the chance to give her your little tip. <laughs> uh. Ladies, gals night out, chasing guys, eating pie, having fun. This table is sticky. Run a damp rag across it. Would it kill you to clean a little? What kind of place is this? The kind that serves soup cold. Huh? And what's with your crazy earrings? What are you, some kind of gypsy? Okay, whoa. Hold up, ladies. You don't get a bitch pass just because you're old. <laughs> yes, that's right. I said it. You come in here with your gangster granny attitude, thinking you can get away with dumping all over the lowly gypsy waitress. No way. At this diner, we don't discriminate due to age. If you're gonna act like an ass, I'm gonna treat you like an ass. No matter how close that ass is riding to the floor. Now, I'll wipe off the table, we'll take it from the top. Hi, I'm Max, who wants tapioca? That's more like it. Save the disappointment for the grandkids. Get the table numbers. Here's how you remember your orders. You just give people nicknames. Look, I got Thin CeeLo, Fat Rihanna, John Beret Ramsey, and Kristen Badwig. Oh, okay, I got Seth Rogaine, Child Molester Mustache, and Lesbian Justin Bieber. Good, thanks. Max, it's the woman at Table 2's 50th birthday and her husband wants us to sing to her. If I had a dollar every time a man asked me to do something to his wife, I'd be a millionaire. Go and smile. 
When you fake smile, everybody else fakes smile back. Nobody wants to hear that lame song. If we want to humiliate her in public, why don't we go over there and pull her top down? Come on, let's just go sing and make the best of it. Hi. Ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday to you! I apologize. It's hard enough your husband took you to a diner on your birthday and now you gotta listen to White Mariah? No! Cupcakes on me. To Look at all this. People really tipped us well tonight. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Thanksgiving is almost here, and as soon as people realize how much money they have to spend on holiday gifts, their wallets snap tighter than Kim Kardashian's legs after the wedding check cleared. <laughs> well, I have two things to say. First of all, I'm incredibly proud of us for spreading the spirit of Thanksgiving together. And secondly, someone left an adult diaper in this booth, and I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> What's with the sad face? Saw the bathroom. Do you think those are six hipsters? Okay, let's go over this one more time. Hipster or homeless? Pop quiz, ready? Ready. Hipsters wear? Skinny jeans. Homeless wear? Dirty jeans. Hipsters listen to? Radiohead. Homeless listen to? The voices in their head. Hipsters have? Beard and a brog. Homeless have? Beard and so much sadness. I see sadness there and there. I'll handle this. I told you before, I don't want your kind in here. Take a trendy hike. First step it up, the Apple Store closes at 10. Max, why did you kick out the hipsters? Because I could not be in the background of another Instagram photo. Hi, sorry, but we're at a Munster. Seriously, dude? I want a Munster. Sorry, we have cheddar, Swiss, or American. Uh, I hate cheddar and Swiss blows. Well, then American? American cheese? Where my grade school? Yeah, go to the principal's office. I can't have another idiot up my ass right now. It's at capacity. <laughs> Max, I got this. Would you like to see the menu again? Uh, this is crap, okay? I want Munster. Well, I wanted to be running a Fortune 500 company instead of waiting on a toxic man-child like yourself, but <laughs> we can't always get what we want, so order something else, put it in your pie hole, and get on with your damn life. <laughs> Welcome to Waitress. We've been expecting you. Pick up chicken breast. The way I know you want it. With the bone in. We really should hold a seminar about sexual harassment in the workplace. Why? He's already so good at it. I'm serious. How'd he like it if we did that to him every time we ordered? Well, let's find out. Ordering! One pastrami. Can you do me a favor, doll face? Make it so big and thick you can't get your mouth around it. Can you do that, sweetheart? Yes, and two matzo ball soups. Hold the balls. Wait, I'll hold the balls. You just sit there and look pretty. And a cream of... Oh, nope, can't just gross myself out. When is it gonna get dirty? It's three of our delicious homemade cupcakes. Nope, can't. You touch them. Sorry. Flu season. No health care. You realize I replaced that Purell with KY, right? Max, please say you're kidding. Of course I'm kidding. I can't afford lube. I just use my tears. Max, seriously, don't mess with my hand sanitizer. I've already caught poverty this year, and I refuse to catch the flu. I just have to keep cleaning my hands and not touch anyone. Caroline, I have checked from table 10. Okay, just place it right there. That's a big tip, wow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Indonesia, you'd be married now. Max, can you watch my table so I run to the restroom? I already am. I've been watching that model girl pretend she's eating for 30 minutes. Oh, she's nice. She always tips on what she would have eaten. Look at that. Dolls in the diner. Where are we, Paris? 
Because if we are, I'm going to stop wearing deodorant. Did you guys see that adorable dog? You mean the one leaking rabies all over the table while people are trying to eat? She said he's allowed to be in here. He's her registered emotional companion. Her registered full of crap what? <laughs> he's got one of those official vests that says, don't pet me, I'm working. I have a shirt that says federal bikini inspector, but there is simply no such branch of the U.S. government. <clears throat> Hi, so uh, what the hell is this? Hey, excuse me, I, I don't understand. Dogs aren't allowed in the diner. Oh, he's legally allowed to be here. He's my registered emotional companion. You mean you don't have a boyfriend? No, I suffer from anxiety. You mean you don't want to eat alone? No, I have a note from a doctor. You mean you have a printer in the internet? <laughs> Admit it and the dog can stay. It's really hard meeting guys. <laughs> That's a good boy, I'll get you a good kid. Max, what's this? It's addressed to Max's homemade cupcakes. Really? I thought that was just a thing I wrote the new pizza place info on. It's a $200 check from that office party we did. Max's homemade cupcakes in type. No way. I've never been typed out before. I've been cash. I've been sweaty 20s pushed into my palm, but I've never been typed. We all go now. We legit. <laughs> Listen up, diner. I just hit the big time. No more serving up slap to you low lives. So everybody can suck it. My waitress days are over. Can I get some more coffee? Sure. <laughs> Wow, bummer, dude. You have a time machine and somehow it got programmed to this crap diner? I must admit, I am quite taken with steampunk. Oh, steampunk. Right, I remember that trend. It happened for like 10 seconds back in 2000 and are you kidding me? Dude, seriously, you were sitting in a public place tap, tap, tapping on an oldie typewriter? What are you, in the League of Extraordinarily Pretentious Gentlemen? Aren't you being a little aggressive? Yep. That's how people are here in the present, where we live. But don't get me wrong, I'd like to go back in time, too. Maybe stop 9-11 or that creep who had sex on my shoe, but I can't. Present? Where's that uniform from, like 1998? Oh, stop, or I'm gonna have to shoot you with the Smith & Wesson I'm currently packing in my bloomers. I'll go get the menu, my good man.